Okay, we're going to do an experiment with the Kelly kettle today uh, because, like, the more skills I can get about combustion, heating water, and fire, and cooking, and the like, the better. This is about skill development as far as anything else is concerned. And on top of that, let's be honest, it's also my playtime, and this is the kind of thing I enjoy doing. So I've got my good old-fashioned wood gas stove, which is one tin inside another. The inner tin is slightly raised up off the bottom of the outer tin. There's a mesh of holes in the bottom of it. There's a ring of air holes around the top. You should know what a wood gas stove is like these days by now anyway. Now I thought if I put about half an inch worth of wood pellets in there and I put some waxed jute rope on top which I then light, maybe that'll be hot enough to then set the wood pellets going. Put the Kelly kettle full of water naturally, otherwise it'll melt on the inside. This is aluminium, it'll melt, okay? Uh, so make sure it's full of water and then see whether we can get a boil going on a minimal quantity of wood pellets. Uh, so here we go. That's about a handful. Maybe I'll put a little more in. Not much. jute rope which is coated in wax I'm hoping it's gonna like lie on top of the wood pellets and just burn nicely so that one's gonna do I now need another one I can make small and coiled got that burning. Let's see if we can get the other one going. I think the idea about the jute rope is that it burns more or less like a candle and carries on burning for an extended period of time and hopefully that will do it uh, what the heck if I can find a smaller piece of jute rope I'll just throw that in for good measure make sure we've got plenty of wax burning inside there well the wax vapors are gasifying and we're getting some black smoke which I guess is for com the rope more than anything else So let's leave it a bit longer and see whether we get some proper gasification action. Still appears to be mainly the wax which is doing the burning, but the Kelly kettle has not extinguished the wood gas stove, so I guess the pellets will be starting to ignite and do their gasification thing, hopefully pretty soon. Let's see how it goes. seems to be working quite nicely. So far so good. Okay, we've now got both heat and fire coming out of the top of the Kelly kettle. We can safely say the jute rope has now been consumed by the fire and this is definitely wood pellets burning. And the heat coming out the top is quite impressive. This looks like a very good way. I mean, the waxed jute rope looks like a good way of lighting a top lit up draft wood gasifier stove. And putting it in the Kelly kettle seems to be quite uh, an efficient way of using the chimney effect, the actual convection, to get the heat going up. That's nice. And the water's warming up quite nicely as well. You can feel that in the body of the kettle. Should be whistling in no time. I just like what it looks like. Outdoor temperature right now only 6.6 .6 degrees. 
Okay, we have not, I repeat, not achieved a full rolling boil in the Kelly kettle. Probably because, oh sorry, the stove inside is somewhat directional, sending the heat upward. So for combination water heating and cooking, this would be ideal. But purely for boiling water in a Kelly kettle, not quite so good. But is that hot enough to make tea with? You betcha. So what I have got out of this experiment is the most successful, most rapid wood gas stove lighting technique possible is jute rope soaked in wax. Okay, and also it does work in the Kelly kettle if you want to use the kettle for a combination of water heating as well as cooking. But on the other hand, purely for uh, boiling water in a Kelly kettle, it's less effective than building a fire with twigs.